Hi, my name is Mark Perlmutter. I'm a country hand surgeon outside of Raleigh, North Carolina. Meet Mark Perlmutter. He's a physician who traveled to Gaza on a Palestinian American Medical Association mission in April of 2024. He's also a propagandist who has done the rounds on CNN and CBS News defaming Israel with damaging lies. All of the dis disasters I've seen combined, combined, 40 mission trips, 30 years, ground zero, earthquakes, all of that combined doesn't equal the level of carnage that I saw against civilians in just my first week in Gaza. And when you say civilians, is it mostly children? almost exclusively children. The carnage that was induced really focused on children, healthcare workers, and journalists. Um, those that were the most innocent, those that provided care, and those that would report to the world uh, the accuracy of the carnage were specifically targeted. Even the UN's casualty count, which relies entirely on the highly controversial Hamas-controlled health authority figures, shows that children account for less than a third of casualties. But let's hear what else Dr. Perlmutter has to say. You were saying that children in Gaza are being shot by snipers. Definitively. I have two children that I have photographs of that were shot so perfectly in the chest I couldn't put my stethoscope over their heart more accurately and directly on the side of the head in the same child. No toddler gets shot twice by mistake by the world's best sniper. And they're dead center shots. Uh, there was no back to these children. The bullet had uh, removed their entire torso. Um, there was um, uh, a similar bullet hole in two of the children's temples. Uh, so they were shot twice. Uh, once was uh, certainly uh, a kill shot. The second one was when they were on the ground. Uh, and so no sniper hits a child, and I'm talking toddlers, uh, twice by mistake. According to Perlmutter, the victims he saw were definitive evidence of expert Israeli snipers purposely targeting Palestinian toddlers for murder. But he has no way to determine the perpetrators or their motives. His claims raise far more questions than they answer. He only saw children in the hospital when they were already dead. How was he able to ascertain the identity of the shooters, the circumstances of the shootings, and the victim's position when they were shot, based only on the size and location of bullet holes in the body? Why would a professional army squander its top military assets, trained snipers and ammunition, to target children and toddlers instead of adult combatants? Why would the world's best snipers capable of dead centre shots require additional shots to confirm their victims' deaths? If expert snipers aimed so perfectly in dead centre over the heart, why would they need to adjust their angle or squander extra bullets in targeting a separate part of the body? If victims were to be found with shots to different areas of their body, wouldn't a far more likely scenario be that they were caught in the crossfire of a combat zone? None of this seems to have occurred to Palmutter, who apparently is more interested in demonizing Israel than telling the truth. He's claimed that no conflict of any size in history has ever been this deadly to journalists, healthcare workers, or paramedics. Even if one were to accept Hamas's casualty numbers at face value, this is a ridiculous statement. Perhaps Palmutter has never heard of World War II, the Syrian civil war, or countless other conflicts. To support his false claim that Israel deliberately targets children as part of a genocide, he grossly minimizes the numbers of Hamas combatants, claiming that they make up just 0.01% of Gaza, in other words, only 200 people. Pel Mutter, who has a Jewish father and Jewish surname, grotesquely exploits his connection to Judaism to endorse vicious anti-Semitic troops. He calls Zionism the moral equivalent of Nazism and definitively not Judaism. Clearly, Palmutter knows nothing about Judaism. Zionism is the idea of Jewish self-determination in the Jews' indigenous land and is an integral part of Judaism. Equating it to Nazism, the movement that led to the slaughter of 6 million Jews in the Shoah, is nothing short of shameful. This is a man for whom CNN and CBS provided a platform to spread evidence-free lies about the Jewish state. 